All right, all right, all right. So, what the fuck? Who gives a fuck anymore, right? It seems like they're taking down my channel anyways. I don't fucking care. Because I ain't getting no views on shit. On shit. <laughs> yeah, they fucking really slowed my shit down. Definitely 99%. Or 90%. Now I'd say I'm about 99%. All right, whatever. Here's what the fuck it is. Okay. So, you, you have Obama's ship named the Michelle... Or what? Uh, the Lady Michelle. <laughs> lady, my ass. Ma'am. Uh, got stopped with all, like, literally one of the biggest cocaine freaking bust ever, literally. You have no idea. There is so many deep, dark states, uh, this shit going on. And I've been going fucking nuts. Like, why is this not being taken care of? Why? 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 I don't fucking get it. Driving me nuts. And I'm looking, 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 looking. And I think maybe it just came into my head. Here's what it is. Okay, you gotta understand the CIA boom all the way since all the way back into the Korean War and shit. I mean, fuck, we probably started learning how to smuggle shit World War Two. I mean, come on, all that gold. Uh, but Korean War, you know what I mean? Iraq, fucking Afghanistan, fucking Desert Storm, all this shit. There's always the booty, the booty. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Fucking think about it. We're fucking pirates. Especially the fucking Democrats. So, how in the fuck easy is it to take over somebody that has all the money in the world that they can just keep getting people killed left and right? Because we all know that's what keeps happening. People keep getting killed left and right. Especially if you're looking into fucking Hillary. So, now, we need to figure something out on how we can deal with this. And we have been, but it's been very, 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 very fucking slow because it seems like there would be an uprising if we actually just told the damn truth if we didn't leak it out slowly. Or this is all just one big fucking game and we're all fucking stupid. Which, that's really the fucking truth here. We're all stupid, it's all a game. Okay, so back on to my theory. Um... They have to go about this as slow as they can because if they don't, they're all going to get killed. Or it's all going to be whatever the fuck. I, I really think the only reason that we were not taken over and literally, I, I know this sounds crazy, but the only reason is because of the fucking military. The military. And I understand we don't want martial law and we don't want the military coming into our houses and treating us like shit. But if you actually look at it and think about it, that's why if we have a really big problem that Obama signed a whole bunch of bills to where we could have the United Nations bring in troops from other countries. Because we all know, whether we're allies with them or not, everybody hates arrogant Americans. Because our own troops, they're not supposed to be able to they're not supposed to be able to literally mess with us unless it's martial law, shit's gone crazy. We're not supposed to be able to have troops dealing with our citizens unless we are under siege by another country or by, you know, we're at war and we've been attacked on our continent. So what people aren't understanding is what they truly want to do. Obviously what Hillary wanted to do was to make, bring all this freaking hatred because give me a break, dude, before Obama didn't pe I mean, somebody walked down the street, fuck you, nigga, whatever, nigga this, nigga that, and then through Obama, it was kind of like even white people, as long as you were down, it was like, nigga this, nigga that, da 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 <laughs> Like, I don't understand, that's such a derogatory word, it's the most horrible word that uh, there is, and they said that they used it to take the power back. But now they sit there and they call, I mean, you see black people get angry, and they'll call a white person a nigger. And then you'll see another white person call another white person a nigger. And you're just like, so where where does it go? So now if a white person calls a black person a nigger, like, it, like I don't understand. Uh, hasn't the power been taken away from the word or the power has been taken back? Like, what what is it? Because I felt a lot more less divided before Obama. And even in the beginning of Obama, I felt like everybody was a little bit more, yay, da-da-da-da-da. That didn't last very long. Obama has done more to divide our country. He ran off of this bullshit. The, oh, look at the debt behind da 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 da, and then he like more than doubled it, tripled it. Like it's just insane. We're all so blind. It's all it's all a game, people. It's all a fucking game. And I hope that what we did get in there was sent by God to give us our chance. 
Because I do think that we are in the end times, and I know it sounds crazy. It is what it is. But I think this is our seven and a half years that we get to actually enjoy the wealth and the income and the happiness. That, and not, not just the happiness, that we have the time to save and get ready and be ready. Because, um, or who knows? Hey, everything might blow up tomorrow. Who the fuck knows? Um, but I really do think this is like towards the end and this is your chance to just gather as much as you can. And I'm not telling you freaking be, be a hoarder or anything like that, but just make sure that you have enough to take care of you on your own because you don't know what could ever happen and you should be ready for this now. Don't think that, Oh, I have seven and a half years. No, you should be ready now. You might have seven and a half fucking minutes. So, but you should definitely be ready now. But I just, you know, this is all a game, and it's insane because we all know if Hillary would have, like, been elected, every Republican would have been arrested for doing nothing. And we're sitting there having to watch all this bureaucratic bullshit to arrest them. I mean, they're bringing up stuff on the news that I was talking about three months ago, four months ago. And now it's actually every day that actually the Republicans and Fox News is actually calling them out for it. I, I just don't understand, like, and I understand they brought it up a little bit here and there in the last, you know, weeks or month, but this is stuff that we've all known about, and still, nothing. All right, well, I appreciate everybody that listens. I'm sure nobody's going to see this, but the YouTube that uh, all of a sudden hates me. Yeah, well, uh, anybody, please hit a like button. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment so that I know I'm still out there, which I don't think that I am. All right, love those that love. Deport those that hate. Loved all.